Start the recording. Okay. Yeah. Set. Hi, you guys. It's Ginger Cook and John Little, and we're back with Acrylic Painting Monday. This is a live show. And uh, we want to, first off, I want to thank everybody who hung in there Saturday when we did. Uh, how eight many, hours. Eight hours of <laughs> 12 paintings in eight hours. And also, we showed you our wedding video. So, those of you who hung in there with us, and boy, Mona was in Sweden. She had stayed up till five in the morning. Can you imagine? And I know a lot of you stayed up late. And we want to thank you very much. Liz, Liz Clark stayed up the whole way till about one o'clock her time. So, so, a lot of you, and I know a lot of others of you did too. So, we want to thank you very much. And uh, we, we were able to tear, tear Becky away from the Astros win to come back and see us for a while. So, you know, we appreciate the time you spend with us and we love spending time with you. And today we're going to be painting a, uh, a winter scene originally done by Gauguin. And normally you think of Gauguin as that artist from the Impressionist artist that hung out in the uh, uh, French Polynesia and painted a lot of native women with colorful flowered uh, gowns if they were wearing anything. So that was that guy. Strange, strange dude. And, and, you know, and he was very, he became very famous for his choice of colors and so forth. But before he did all that, he was living in France and he had, I ran across a painting of his. It was called a, you know, it was like a street in Paris in the winter. And I thought, this is really something I could do on YouTube. I think you could do it too. And what was unique about it to me, and see if you don't think that's true, was the uh, the slanting of his brush strokes and also the, the, so much purple that he used in his winter scene. Usually you think of blue and white as a winter scene and, and this, I thought his choice of colors were interesting and uh, I think you're really gonna have fun with this and we're gonna have fun with you. And so John, let's, while we're thanking all the moths and everybody, let's get out and shoot on down to our- Scoot our, on down to the table. And you can kind of see, we're doing this small. Of course, he did this much larger, but we're doing this small. And you can see that I've got There's a little eight by eight, eight, eight by canvas, eight, yeah. and I've just painted the background purple, because there's so much purple in this, all right? And I mean, this Holbein is a really- the, the whole Yeah, this is called Holbein Mob. It's a great color. I really, really like it. If you didn't have that, you know, color I would tell you to try would be maybe ultramarine blue with a small amount of magenta would give you that. I wouldn't recommend dazzling purple because it's got a glare to it. A little bit of a shiny surface and a glare, and I don't think it will serve you as well as something a little more matted. So, or you could put a little matte medium with it if you had, all you had was dazzling purple. Then I'd put a little matte medium with it so mm -hmm. to kind of just tone that down. So anyway, that's our background. This is a little eight, like I say, a uh, little eight squared canvas. Um, the colors we're gonna be using today are pretty much the colors we use every day. So it's just not a big surprise, but here's our color chart. But we've got ultramarine blue and thalo blue. We've got burnt, burnt sienna and burnt umber. We've got magenta. Uh, of course, this, uh, this mauve uh, purple. Got cad red medium, cad red light. I really, in the past uh, year or so, I've gotten really fond of cad red light. And uh, so I've started to use more of that. It's a good color to have. Yellow oxide, and, um, yellow oxide here in cad yellow medium, titanium white and zinc white. So those are the colors we're gonna be using. Pretty simple uh, color. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And what I'm gonna do is just for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tr uh, trace this on. Just, we'll have the traceable up for you guys tomorrow on the website for orange uh, members and above. And let's just get a little pen here and see if we can't do that. One of the things you want to do is this Sorrel transfer paper is just make sure you have the right side. Um, hold on there, Queenie. What? Hold your horses. Put what? that piece of paper away. What? Look in your upper left corner on your art table. Oh. Look, you got me a better piece of paper. Thanks, John. I got you an eight by eight, well, an eight by 12, and I oh, even put the word up on it. Well, it has the word up on it. This is what Ginger really needs, <laughs> this kind of thing. This is the kind of help that helps me a lot. You know, that, this is a good trick, isn't it? To, you know, one of the things you can do that these are the kinds of things that can help you. Like, for instance, if you have a tube of like Payne's Gray, take your finger or brush or something and spare that on the back of the tube so when it's upside down on your table, you know what the color is because those cheap guys, they only put the color on the front, right? Not on the cap or anything, so there you go. That's just a little tip starting off right away. So while I'm tracing this on, perhaps John could um, uh, tell me who our moderators are. 
Uh, that are here. Moderator I know Lu who they are, but who's here? <laughs> uh, moderator Lou Ann, Liz 1, Liz 2, and Steffi are in the house. Oh. We need to check the list to see if somebody's hiding and has not been blabbing. Ah, uh, Liz, Judy must be out there somewhere. Okay. Or I mean, Liz, moderator Judy. I said Liz, I Judy. Think, oh. I think Judy has just, it's just Judy, John. I it's think she, Judy. As much as we have given everybody the Liz name, I think she wants to just keep Judy. Hey, Judy. <laughs> hey, Liz one. Hey, Liz two, right? Liz three. Yeah. We're going so Lizzie. We wouldn't want to do that. And this is something, speaking of Liz one, this is something you might have fun doing because it's small and it's kind of fun. It's wintery. You know, it's, it, it, you know, I think all of you will have fun, but some of you've been looking for like a little quick, easy project, nothing too, uh, nothing too strenuous. This is what I would suggest. Something like this. Use your, um, uh, no. try to use a straight line when you can. If you, you know, like that, it's just a little I bit would like easier. To make a comment here, if I could, my queen. Sure, do that. The road is not straight across. I mean, it's straight, but it's not perpendicular. Yeah, I hear that. Which I noticed the uh, queen did not try to force that to be. And I, but the house is perpendicular. Everything is right. So he this, he did this on a slant. Well, so I just I'm, wanted to make sure that don't don't straighten that out because it's really not straight. Okay. And not perpendicular. You know that is something you ought to watch though. I I recently did a pack for somebody who did a really nice painting, and their trees were just sort of leaning a little bit, and every we this had come back several times, and I just didn't want to be a meanie about it and say, you know, now go back and straighten the trees. <laughs> but I mean, just look for that. You know, ge generally speaking, trees tend to go straight. Up, you know, in fact, when I used to horseback ride, uh, doing competitive trail riding, when you were riding a horse down the trail, your your body was supposed to on a steep hill. Your body was supposed to be straight up, but it was very easy to lean forward or back. And you could tell if you were straight because the trees were going straight, and you used that as your guide. Just a little piece of trivia about uh, straight things. Unless you're in the desert. Yeah, so I think this must be a, so this is the end of the houses here. Yes and yes. And uh, there's some chimney things here, but I don't know what that is. And um, I'm just not going to sweat some, the small some stuff up. may occur. Well, you know, this is some sort of a wall, and I don't know. We're just going to make it up. You know, what do you guys think? I just kind of wanted to have a division between the um, um, the, yin and the, the yin. rest of this, the, this part, and the sky. That's all. That's the whole idea behind that. See? We kind of have, don't you think we have sort of have that? Then there's sort of something up here, too, which I don't know what that is because it's all in snow. But never fear. We'll, um, we'll figure it out. Some sort of chimney things. Maybe that was a factory. Who knows? It's um, you know, we've got at least this much, so I kind of know what's going on. That's that's all I wanted. Just sort of a general guide. Yes, and yes. Generally speaking. Yeah, generally speaking. I think I take my glasses off now. Cinnamon says, "How can you see th through those? They're always so dirty." I'm kind of know. I know, just one of the banes in life. And then we got away on this last trip, and I bought a giant box of glass, glass little instant, you know, little, little cleaner tear off thing. things, and like 500 in a box or something. And we left with 10 of those. And yeah, I don't know where, the, why they didn't end up in the suitcase. All right, mm -hmm. you may have noticed yesterday that I got to play with our Saturday, I got to play with that new brush. And uh, that um, we're fi we'll find out when these are being released, but I do kind of like it. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yet. This is, I haven't released it yet, but I'm going to do that for the sky. If you didn't have this brush, I would say use an angle brush. And notice that we're going to go pretty light on the sky, but we want to have, now this is some really important, not that everything I say isn't wildly important, but this is But this important. is the most important. Well, at least one of the important things. In fact, um, uh, just a word, look at the brush direction. See, this is going this way. All the strokes, brush strokes are... And if you get a little confused, just put a few marks like this. If you're not sure, you can't remember. So it's easy, to, easy enough to do. So we're going to go ahead and add all these colors because there's like some light blue and grays and um, that kind of stuff. So we're going to start with white because it's uh, take a little phthalo blue and a little burnt sienna and uh, make sort of a light color and just come on down here like that and just pull some brush strokes down. I'm not going to get, I'm not doing, um, everything's going to get kind of overlapped. So we, this is good enough. We're going to do this. 
we're going to do. That was one of the things the Impressionists did. Now, you may not know why they did a lot of this, but um, uh, there was a, when you're using oil paint, it doesn't really dry for days and days. And so what you have to do if you're going to try and do a painting all in one day is you've got to kind of overlap stuff. And their paint probably would have been a little bit thicker than what I'm doing. My brush is dry. It's not, not doesn't even have any water on it at all. And uh, I'm just using paint. You see we're getting some light stuff here like that. And I want more of this sort of, it's almost a robin's egg blue, which is white, thalo blue, white, tiny bit of yellow, and maybe a tiny bit of, what would be raw umber would be good, but I'll just use burnt umber since I don't have any out. And we'll just add a little bit more white and maybe a tiny bit of magenta. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's give that a little bit of a purple cast. Yeah, something like that. Do you see how much lighter that is? And we'll vary where these brush strokes go. Like that. We'll come on over here and just, I'll keep some of these a little flatter. And then as we go um, toward the, um, start overlapping all this, we'll, we'll change it. Let's try a little bit of ultramarine blue in that color, and a little bit of purple and white, ultramarine blue. Let's try a little bit of this purple color. Put a tiny bit of yellow oxide in it. Yellow is the opposite of, um, of purple on the color wheel, so if you need to gray purple a bit, you just add a bit of um, yellow to it, and it won't be such a bright purple. You can kind of Mob it down a bit, right? Mob it down a bit. Yeah, I like that, mobbing it down. Yeah. So I'm using this brush here because I'm in a hurry and I just could, I could um, probably why, be. Why are you in a hurry? Because I want to get this done where, the, where it's still kind of wet and can overlap, oh, okay. right? So, um, so if you were doing this 16 by 20, for instance, or 16 by 16 or something, um, you, you might change brush sizes. So much depends on, let's take a little bit of ultramarine blue now and add to some of these colors that we've already mixed. Add some of that. And then I might go in and just sort of refine this a little bit with a smaller brush. But I'm kind of laying in the background where if I can, like that. I'm just going to cover up those pipes. I know kind of know where they go. Um, and as I look at this, he had kind of a little bit more purpley stuff Let's add some blue with that, the mauve and the ultramarine blue, and a bit of zinc white. Let's try that. That's nice. And let's put some of that purple color over here. A little bit of magenta, maybe. That's nice. The mauve color. Yeah, because that's part of your, sort of your rose purple tones. And uh, you can get some really nice, um, a nice pattern. So I've got some sort of exciting news to tell you. I know the wedding was exciting, and, and we want to thank everybody who watched our wedding video and made a comment. If you haven't seen it already, it's, it's on the channel, Ginger and John's Wedding. It's pretty easy to find. Though, did you know that there are, if you just Google on YouTube, if you just search Ginger and John's Wedding, there's three other Ginger and Johns, two others, I guess, that got married besides us. Yeah, the same but it didn't look as good as ours. Yeah. Just saying. So anyway, the... Um, the other kind of fun news uh, we have is that all the all the paintings from um, Saturday are, of course, up on the auction. You can see them. And we're going to show you to you again tonight. Maybe even John can zoom in on it. This brush left the nicest texture on some of those pieces. It's really incredible. John John was looking at that going, did you see how nice that was? And, and, Unless um, you really zoom in on it. I'll do a video on it a little bit later. The, the, we, 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 you know, they, they sent the brush to Cinnamon and Cinnamon, and then they said she could share one with me if to see what my opinion is. And my opinion was they've got a winner here. Um, and it's something I, I think it isn't something if I saw it in the store, I don't think I would buy it. So I'd have to know about it. It's one of those products where you kind of have to feel like somebody had to maybe tell you about it before you might be willing to uh, to venture out and and buy something like that. Absolutely. Because, um, like I say, it is, it's sort of, um, uh, it's, it's, it's unusual. It's, it's, it's not like any other brush we've used. And I, when I, if I first saw it, I really wouldn't know what I was supposed to do with it. Does it make sense? See how I'm keep adding the colors and overlapping. 
uh, some light greens. And if you get in the habit of just layering, you'd just be surprised. And you've got a cheat sheet here because you see what he did. You see where he had some light areas and he had a few little brown areas. And there was even some brown in here. Some, um, it looks like some burnt sienna was in some of this right in here. And um, who knows, he might have done a, I did a purple background. He might have done a burnt sienna background. I don't know. But anyway, that's a that's a pretty good start on that sky. I'll probably have to come back and um, fine tune it. Fine tune it, but that's all right. At least I've kind of got it covered now. If I come down here to the to the ground, what I want to do is I'm not going to rinse the brush because I just don't care enough to to do that. <laughs> just going to get some dark. Br I just don't care. Yeah, just really. That's just sad as that is. I'm going to just take some ultramarine blue. And burnt umber, and I've got this old Matisse burnt umber, and it's all thick and funny. But it's all right. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cover the um, that clay stuff. That clay, it's like, you know, well, umbers are clay. You know, raw umber and burnt umber. That's clay. Burnt sienna. They're clay, and every once in a while they get real sticky. In the let's try a little bit of red with this. Let's do, there we go. A little cad red with that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe get some brush strokes going this way. Get a little that I'm just getting some texture on here, maybe a little purple. What's the actual name of this brush? It's called, and it has not for sale yet. It's it's a number four Raphael Textura D. D something. D. D D D. Uh, brush. <laughs> so that's the last word. D. Something is D brush. <laughs> like the brush, darling. Do you What's have the brush? brush? I have the brush. I must say. Yep. Madame, Monsieur, sure. I have the brush. Absolutely. Right? That kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's I still can't believe I couldn't remember we'd been into we'd been into France. I can't either. You know, and I'm, you were all excited about that fountain that we went in. That oh, area. I do it's so beautiful. We got this cab driver when we were in Marseille to um just, just take us around where we wanted to go. And he showed, I mean, oh, this guy was so nice. He he, he knew everybody. Yeah. And he knew exactly what we wanted to see. The first thing I we got in the cab, my French is, you know, from 60 years ago. Come on, you guys. It's been a while. And, uh, but I showed him my paintings and John had the cameras and we want, and he got the idea. We wanted to find things to paint. So, I mean, that was kind of a no brainer. He understood that. So well, yet, once again, the visual arts are a universal communication mechanism. This is dark brown right here. This part what do you right do here. with a clay-based paint that has gone sticky? <sighs> Buy another tube. Yep. Really, there's just not much you can do, honestly. I mean, I'd like you to say there was, but... You can a medium to it, but... Now, this is some burnt sienna and a little yellow oxide. Seems to me the umber is the worst guy. And we're going to go ahead and tap in this wall here. I'm just tapping it in. Rather than, say, brushing it like this, I want a little texture. So I'm going to take that um, and just tap the wall in. See, like that. Just tap that on there. And I'll get more paint. And I can do that. If my brush was real wet, I, this would not be successful. But because my brush is, is dry, or at least been rinsed, but it's been wiped off, this is pretty successful. See, I can tap this wall over here, this kind of gold wall. And then this little area in here, which is burnt umber and purple maybe is up in here like that. We'll just we'll just tap that in here too like that. We'll just have something on here. Just because you know this is a tree and some stuff, but it's good enough. And then we've got I've got this gonna now I'm gonna rinse the brush. Maybe I'll just change brushes. That's a thought. Let's take a little bright brush and come up here and do a Take some CAD red light and just, um, here's this barn. There you go, the side of this house. Now that's brighter than I want, but that's all right. I know I'll, I'll tone that down at some point. Yeah? Yeah. I but I mean, that. that's kind of a kind of a placeholder uh, for, for what I want to do next. And then we know that this is uh, brown and, um, and then we've got, uh, so we've got some browns. That, that that purple and cad red make an interesting brown, by the way. Really nice dark brown. So let's come up under here and say 
this little area is dark brown. And we know we want something along here. The purple's pretty good, but we're gonna say something here. And I'm just, I want something on here, second layer. So I'll just say this is brown here. And I'll come on up here and put those chimneys in. They're not all the same height. They sort of stagger down like that. So, I mean, I, I suppose if you lived in the area, you'd say, oh, that's such and such a place. And since- Oh, you know exactly where this is. But, you know, time's gone by. These buildings are probably aren't there anymore. And, and um, so we're just that? kind of making educated guesses on what's here. Yes and yes. And uh, Highly educated. Though. Oh, so I started telling you some. We had some other neat stuff happening. What was it? It's coming to me in a minute. The other thing that's kind of neat that's happening here, and let's see, we want this to be kind of a gray color, um, is that next week because we had so many views on the art chirp and I answering your questions, uh, we're gonna have, instead of a, 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 a painting, we're going to have, Sim and I are gonna sit here like we did a couple months ago and answer your questions. Now the key is, while we'll be doing this live, those of you who would be kind enough to send us, use the contact us, send us the questions, whether directed at me or the art chirp, give us a list of questions. Let's make this the most fantastic show of the year. Uh, I mean, really uh, something that's going to bring the house down because it's going to be an interaction with you guys. So if you'll do that, that would be marvelous. Yes and yes? Yeah? I think so. Yeah. And like you said, let's get those questions in first so that way we can make sure we get you guys covered. We will take them live from the studio audience, but... If we have some to get the ball rolling, is greatly appreciated. Yeah, and then, in fact, if we had to take a break, we could, here's an idea, and this just came to me, but if we had to take, well, of course, we always take breaks. If we took a little break or something, we, that could be some of the questions we answer during the commercial. That, you know what I mean? Tell me want to take a break. Well, I don't know. Okay, we wait could a minute. We could you're going to take a break and you're going to answer questions. No, I mean, we'd, we'd be pre-record some. Oh, see, I missed that part. Well, but I don't know, since we're not drawing anything, I don't know why we'd do that. But if we wanted to do that, we could. <laughs> I mean, we have the technology to do that. We do have the technology, but does it make sense to do that? Probably not, but no. I thought it was a good idea anyway. It was, no. wasn't it? It was a really good idea. It just wasn't apropos. It was an idea. It wasn't apropos to what we were doing. This not is apropos sink, at all. This is Sink White. Hey, and, we'd like to thank uh, Eric for the donation that came in through Super Chat. Thank Congrats you. on your wedding, John and Ginger. Oh, thank, thank you. you, Eric. Thank you very much. And speaking of donations, let's thank the other people that had come in through the PayPal system. The link was just put up there. That would be Sharon and Jules. Oh, you guys, thank you very much. And uh, I want to thank everybody who said such nice things about, you know, our wedding and and I've, been, I've tried to answer the comments. I've been, you know, spent a lot of time, and you, they just keep coming in. We so appreciate it. Your well wishes and blessings and kind thoughts about our wedding. It just it was kind of a personal thing to share, but I thought, you know, a lot of people wanted to come to our wedding before and couldn't. So we sort of, what what I thought would be, instead of you, because you said didn't get to come to the wedding at reception, because, uh, well, we really didn't have a reception, but you know, if we had a reception, we, we nobody came. We so, had a reception. We did. We, and then well, when I had my pie, yeah. Oh yeah, we had. A, that's right. I, there were four <laughs> were of us that we had pie. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I, I, and and um, anyway, what I'm saying is, is that so? Think of this like signing the guest book. You know, come out to go to that wedding video, make a comment like you're, and I'll know you're you were guest because you watched the video kind yeah. of thing, like you were part of it. So thank you. Part of the big show. Part of the big show. All right. So I'm going to just let this sit here for a minute. I want to show you something. Now One again, just... the uh, the question and answer show will be next Monday. Yeah. So you That'll have some time from the to day, get that. Which makes it the 14th. You have some time, so it. Um, right before we take off again. We we're going to be gone uh, on our honeymoon through January, but we're going to have shows every Monday. Uh, that we pre-recorded on our academy has all these fabulous paintings coming up and so forth, but. One of the things we want, this year we've never been able to, never been organized enough to do it, but this year 
we in our store we found a we found a bunch of what we think are really neat products that people might want to get for you know their friends for Christmas. So I want to take a minute and just move this painting out of the way. This was that these bags come in three sizes. What was if you missed the show on Monday on Saturday? This this Santa bag is Santa on one side. It kind of looks like John, doesn't it? But just saying. And then there's a, a Santa on the other. And this was our latest. Uh, uh, Santa for 2022, and this was, I think, 2019 Santa. I think or, it was. Or, or 20, maybe. And 20. And all the fabric goes all the way, you know, on the bottom. These are really nicely really made. Really nice inside. They're, they're uh, and, and you lined. And you could just, yeah, they're, they're, they're lined. Are they, are they lined? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Well, no, they're not. Well, they have a different fabric it's on the inside. It's not really it's long. A, it's a... I'm going to say waterproof, but it's, it's, it's a washable material. Yeah, you can wash them, and we've got like three different designs of these, and you can order them in th three different sizes. That's the very large one. And um, more coming. Uh, and, uh, just for instance, I know, Eric, you were able to paint this, uh, you know, when you were part of the Academy, this, um, this one with the candy. But we did this on this side and the jelly beans on the other. And I think what's neat about these is that you could use them as a gift wrap. And they're a gift in themselves, and then you could put whatever packages you were giving to somebody, you know, like big stuffed animal or something in there. That's a good, those are always good gifts, yes? Yes and yes. Yes and yes. So, all right, so let's come back and just want to take a moment to show you that. Let that dry a bit? <laughs> yeah, just, now, as you can see, I, I need to get a little bit more, I want a few more purple tones in the sky than I have. So now I'm going to use my dagger brush, and... Um, so I want the brush strokes just a little bit smaller. I want to come in here like that and uh, just do some more of this kind of work. You know, just just add some more dimension to this sky. And I don't need, uh, this is the fun part about doing a sky like this. It looks very simple, but you don't, you want to vary the colors. We've got a lot of colors that are kind of different right now. You want to look at your, Paint dries a little darker, maybe, than you thought. And we want to give the feeling of this winter's day. And um, nothing quite does that like little layers of color, yeah? So uh, I'm going to just wipe the brush off and start again. There you go. Just get this a little bit darker up here like that. And this will all sort of, I want to weave all this in to the, uh, the canvas. And... So then the question has come up, well, I don't have all the brushes you guys got. You know, you've been painting as many years as I have. There's, there's a tendency to be kind of brush hoarders. Do you think that's a oh, fair accusation? Oh, that's, ac that's an understatement. I think it's easy to have happen. I mean, I, um, uh, and, and really, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a brush hoarder? Because, you, you know, you see another brush and you think this is cool. So any slanted angle brush would work for this, but... Uh, but varying the brush, I guess the point I'm making is varying the brush size is helpful. Just see what you got, right? How's that? Keep the, make sure you're keeping the slants in the same, same direction. And we'll just come on up here. And this was kind of lighter back under here like that. And uh, there we go. And then I think there was some, I'm going to take a little bit of this white color. And there was like a little bit of white on top of these chimneys. That looks kind of blue, not white. Let's try another little dab of paint here. A little dab will do you. Yeah. Oh, remember those commercials? Remember that? Yeah, old Brill Cream. Brill Cream. Brill Dab will do you. Use more, only if you dare. I just never, ever, as a, never in my life ever wanted to put my fingers in someone's greasy hair, but you know, <laughs> it was a good commercial, and they certainly did well with it, didn't they? Apparently they did. Apparently they thought, thought that you know there would be people that would want to do that, and good for them, right? So I'm going to want this a little... You, you want them all light colors, but just varying... You want to just kind of vary the colors a little bit. Uh, ultramarine blue and magenta make a very good color, too. And you can add some, say, zinc white with that. And that's, that has a nice purple tone to it, too. It's going to be a little different. want a little bit more ultramarine blue in that. And then maybe some white titanium. Okay, let's try that. Because I just want to vary the color a little bit and get these purple tones. Because that's what made this 
this is what made this picture uh, so different. And to me, anyway. All right, so I think we're pretty good there. I'm gonna just leave the same colors on my brush. I wanna come up lock here on the top and we're gonna go this way. And using this dagger brush, we're just gonna make this up and down motion with thicker paint. And we're gonna say that that's the top of this little roof. And the same thing here like that. We'll come up here like that and do that, make a little A. And then, let's see. What happened here? Oh yeah, this was interesting. This all is white here too, like that. And it's actually more of a blue, turquoisey blue white, not a purple. So let's brighten that up a bit. And uh, you don't want it too perfect, but here's another roof down here like that. And this, like I say, I think you'll find this simple because just leave a little bit of a space here for a shadow like that right there just leave that and just let's do that and you should be in good shape you're going to notice that the angle we're doing with the snow is coming down on that make this eave off a little bit more here like that and uh, uh then there was something that happened here i don't know what it was but we're just going to put some white here because that's anybody's guess at this point and there's something like kind of something light right here and um, back here, there was a little light. And we're just, we're just going to, if I was doing this bigger, maybe I'd get my glasses on and try and see what on earth we were painting. But sometimes you can just do, um, you know, color. And that works. And let's see, let's do something right here like that. So we sort of, we've suggested this. Now we're going to come down here on the top of this wall and do the same thing. And you'll notice that this, this is a perfect brush for that because I can just pull the angle down. I'm kind of loading it up here. There's not a lot. It's not running. Um, I'll just pull the brush down like that. And I mean, that's kind of as, about as simple as it gets you guys. Okay. Okay, we have a serious problem. What? Becky says, on the brush order too, I have over 300 paint brushes. Some have never been used. 300 paint brushes. That is a serious problem, That Becky. is a serious problem. This is where you... Um, you need help. You, well, you, you know... You need therapy. You know, um, perhaps Becky needs to have a sale, brush sale. <laughs> right? What do you think? Go to Brushes R Us, Becky. Yeah. So, all right. So you see, I've got. See, we've sort of already put this in it. We haven't done much, right? I mean, it's kind of impressive, actually, when you think about it. So let's let's take a little bit of zinc white and burnt umber and to mix that. And I'm going to just lighten up this 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 here like this. I'm going to just do some log, just a little drag this on here over the dark like that. Just lighten that up just a little bit. Just burnt umber and zinc white. And um, there's some of that there too. Maybe something a little lighter right here. Okay. Those are all small things, but you know, they can they can have an impact. And let's take a little bit of a... Small things add up. Yeah, a lot of times it's so much as contrast. And... Um, I want to just come up here like this with something a little bit darker here, like that on this edge. And a little, something a little bit darker under here, like that. Just a little bit more contrast. And I kind of like my orange. Um, it, it dried a little bit darker. And if I take a little bit of Cad Red now and Burnt Sienna and mix that on my brush and then let that come down from the eaves, kind of like, like it's dripping. Just slightly over this. You're barely going to see it. There you go. Okay, don't need take to do much. Now, we can, we'll can. we use this brush later for some twigs and things, since that's a great uh, branch brush. But let's get that other one here. And let's, he has in this center right here, it got a little lighter. So take some yellow oxide and a little bit of burnt sienna, but more yellow oxide this time. The brush had been sitting in water, so I'm really going to wipe it off. And... Um, uh, see how I'm just sort of stabbing at this rough wall like this and it leaves great 
texture. It's really interesting. It leaves some good texture. Well, you just got to see a close-up on that. You want to just zoom in really quick? Just look at the, see how it's leaving this texture? I don't know how on that side angle. Let's take a look. This part was lighter, and then this part was, That's it. was a little bit... See, this is our next layer, and I just sort of tapping this in, and then it's it's uh, to the left. It's it's darker brown over here. This is more of the burnt umber. Like a, it usually, when there's any kind of eave, it's usually like this part of the roof under here. There's usually a spot where it's a bit darker, just under that part, like that. But you see, I'm just sort of tapping this, and it's leaving this marvelous texture, isn't it, John? I think it's great. And so that's a. I don't know. I have another brush that'll do that. And not the way this one does. I mean, I do a lot of zooming in on all our artwork, and this is the first one that really popped out. And I said, look at me. I'm different. <clears throat> and it, it was. It, 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 and yeah, it is, huh? It's very different. Yeah, and then, so, um, let's see. We had, I'm just kind of looking here to see if I had this wall down. I may not have this down far enough. I can always bring it down a little lower. Yeah, because your next layer could go over top of it. Yeah, we got to go over the top of it with snow. So let's let's take some burnt sienna here and just bring this wall goes up a little bit, but here this is a little lower. I want to say that there we go. And then then something right here. There was some. There's another little house that we're seeing here that now I can kind of if I put my glasses on. I think I think there was something here. Like this was part of a roof, maybe like that, maybe like something like that. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to go ahead and. Um, I probably don't want to use that brush. Let's use a different one. Because we want more of a blue green, blue, I mean, light blue. And um, let's lighten this up a bit. Uh, it's when you're using a wiping off a rag, make sure that you use the wipe off on a clean spot because otherwise you're just kind of doing a dirty rag here. So here's our next layer of light snow here on this roof. And let's come up here and do another one. Doesn't hurt, right? They kind of bring that out a bit. Um, and you're thinking, man, this is pretty simple, huh? <laughs> I mean, you got to admit, this is this can't can't seem too challenging. Yes, and yes, it's got to be pretty much okay. Uh, should we do another purpley roof? Uh, no, this is a chimney up here, so we're gonna come up here, just put a dot, so we know where we're going, like that. And then we're just gonna use the. Ooh, see, I had too much water on the brush. This is why I don't like to use water. We had a, quite a conversation with Cinnamon and I, Dave, because I know she uses a lot of water, and uh, I prefer not to for the painting style I have. But there you go. There's that chimney, and um, that was pretty good. I think we'll do something a little darker right here. Now, uh, the next thing to do is to um, to do this ground stuff, and then we'll put in the trees. Yeah. Is that dried down there? You want to show some of the... Uh, yeah, let's let that dry. Let me show a few, few paintings while that's drying, because if you don't really dry between stuff, it's not, not very helpful. So I want to move these little uh, bags here. Just, um, all right, the auction pieces came out so well. They, when they, I think they, they dried really beautifully. This is Santorini, and um, I wish I had something just plain to show you with a black background or something. I don't have that, uh, you know, something to put under there that's where it's not all competing with this. Uh, maybe I can just, let me just do it like this. I just don't want to have to compete with that. So here's the, here's Santorini. And you see this, 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 this little bell tower. And uh, that was part of our trip. Um, uh, let's find another one that's vertical. I, lo I love our, our just it's a dog that John saw on our travels and I think he's really cute. And again, you can see the brush strokes in there are all done with that interesting new brush, which I think I was just trying to look for some verticals now. So, and this has got to be, this is the park where we got married in uh, Georgia. 
and I really love this. Um, and this, this feels like we had captured it. So, I mean, she lives there all the time, so I'll take her word for it. Um, this one is sort of fun. This is the um, a dessert. And we, I've, uh, the whole time we were traveling, we, we, we took photographs of what we ate. And what's neat well, about this. You never the, know what's going to make a good painting. What's, what's, what's neat about this video, do you see how transparent? Can you zoom in on that? Do you I see can how you can. If you look in here, you can see how this glaze from the strawberry glaze, it just glows. Do you see that? And in the video, we show you how to get that effect. Because that's way cool, isn't it? You can see how it's just, it, it's just, it's really, that it's really so glows. Personal, and when we fun. varnish this, wow, it's just perfect. So there's that. And then. Um, oh, wait a second. Take that one off for a second. Yes. Yeah. Now. Look at some of these brush strokes that brush does. Now don't don't you move the painting. Okay. Let me just move around here a little bit. And what do I see? Look at I can't get closer than this. Let me move the, the painting do down so you can see it. Because you're gonna look at the you're look at the just... different strokes she's got and the different colors in each stroke. Yeah, like all these colors right in here. Yeah. And when it doesn't look like much, and then when you back away, you've got a picture. Yeah, which is sort of an, it's an interesting thing, you know, that you that's why we always tell you to back away from your artwork. Just don't keep staring at it, hold it up to a mirror or something like that. So you can get the feeling of what's been painted, which is kind of fun, you know, which is good. You have and, some more uh, verticals there, Queenie? Yeah. And then I got there's another vertical. This cat oh, was cat. just in the ruins. And what we loved about the photograph was his eyes and the fact that it's a black cat, but. Uh, it was painted with Payne's gray, no black, actually. And the only actual black we used was for the irises. And, you know, you had these blue highlights, and we kind of softened the background. This is a great tutorial on how to do pets. Um, people always ask that. I've got a, how do I paint this? And how do, what's my underpainting color? And then here's some, these were some bougainvillea that were just growing over the rocks. And, um, uh, again, this is another example of how glazing can be effective layering. So these are all fun paintings. We'll show you some of the horizontals, um, those on the, the verticals break. on the next break. Verticals first. But we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just put these over there. But thanks for being, that gave, gave me enough time to, for this to dry without having to run the hair dryer. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to... Those are, those paintings are on the auction, gingercookauction.com through next Monday. It will yeah. be expiring at midnight next Monday. Yeah, and uh, we need them. We need the auction over so we can get them to you before we leave. <laughs> want to make sure that we can Otherwise get the mail box to you. So here's the um, here's the kind of off white for the snow, and um, I want you to just see that. Can, can you zoom in on this, John? Uh, yes, ma'am. Right where you are. Yeah, just okay. right here. Do you see how? Everything is like little humps, doop, do doop, do doop, do doop, do doop, do doop, right? Yeah. Everything is sort of curved. There's some rocks under here like that, and it's all curved. So if you're going to paint this, you're just doing little loopy loop things. Yeah, this, yeah? Paint, this particular painting is all about brush stroke. If you look at his work, it's all brush stroke, and he's using them in different directions. Yeah, and just kind of keep the color sort of, uh, not, that you don't want anything too bright, muted. He's got a little bit of this sort of, he's got some mauve shadows in the, in the, in the, um, in the snow up in here like that. There's a little bit of purple tones uh, up over in here. This. Um, look at the, if you're asking for the name of the brush, look at Luann's, moderator Luann's. She has it there. Lorraine has it. They're not in the country as of yet. Can't quite get them yet, but but they wanted to know if you know. Um, they wanted an opinion. They wanted an opinion. I I think they're marvelous, so um, I, I, I was happy to I was happy to give one, and um, no, we'd let them know if we didn't like it too. Oh yeah, you know us. You know we'll tell you. Just We're ask me about show. what I think about going to a gourmet restaurant and being served a, a, a couple of beets with some sort of weird sauce in a dish. You know, and that, you know, just because it was weird doesn't make it good food. You know what I mean? You, 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 you know, okay, some of the, some of the things we were served, you, you look at them and go, um, 
There's, yeah, I'm just Is saying. Is there anything that, more with this? Is this it? I, I know there's a lot of competition in the cooking, you know, the restaurant industry when you get into Michelin stars and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm just not a big, big fan of weird too much. There's a little <laughs> bit of warmth back here on the snow, kind of in the back here where that little light spot is on the, on the um, wall there. There's a little bit of warmth. The snow got a little warmer. Either that or dogs have been back there. I mean, it just depends what you think happened, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so Lu Luann, I want to say, you, you said, all of you have said that some of the nicest things in the video. Luann, you said some very nice things about our wedding video, and I replied, but again, I want to thank you very much. You know, the thing about our mods, that both on Facebook and, you know, the, when they come over here to YouTube, is that they're, you know, we've got the most supportive group you can imagine. And for instance, Judy was, Judy's been up there keeping you all informed about what's going on. And, um, and even when she, you know, everybody knew secrets, they're all kind of keeping them. It's a, okay, so here's what happens. There's a, what happens? Yeah, what happened? Well, I thought there was maybe a break in the fence, but no, this is some sort it of, covers over. It's, 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 it's some sort of foliage. All right, so you see how fast that, that went together, right? Like that. Tara would like to know, have you eaten octopus, Ginger and John? No, I do not eat rubber no, beans. No, no, I've eaten calamari, and that's about as far, as far as it goes. And that was no. before somebody told me what it was, you know. That's bottom feeders. Yeah, but now we're going to whiten up the roof here again. See, because everything dried, we gave, gave it a little bit of a chance to so dry. See, had come on Santa Rita and was so impressed it was delicious. Well. I think yeah. that's great. And we're happy for you. <laughs> Do you no. see how the next layer kind of lightens stuff? Because this is, you got it, you know, the, see how we're lightening things up? It's just the smallest things like that, but you've got to go back and layer. Just don't get in a hurry. Just going to put a little snow here, too, up here on the chimneys. Okay. Just, just don't get in a hurry to, you know, just, even though I'm doing this fairly quickly, just think about that for a bit. You know, as far as, you know. Ooh, and PJ loves octopus and squid. Now, you had squid, but you didn't eat it, did you? No, no. No, no I don't want to eat it. alligator either. You, you know, there's just certain <laughs> things that are just on a, on my food list. But, you know, we're not against other people, you know, having a blast. And, and this is where we there. would fail on the amazing race. Yeah, we couldn't do it. I would do it more than she would do it. But the I, queen has a very, very peculiar palate. I'll tell you, it's true. <laughs> and I and I and I all right. So now I'm going to take an angle brush and I want to start with the shadow color first. I want to put the um, uh, just a little bit of white and purple up here like this. Maybe a little bit of blue with that. No, too much blue. A little more purple. I want to say that there's a. I think this is probably an art rose bush thing. Maybe that's coming down here. A rose bush thing. Maybe a, a, a arboretum or something. What do they call that? A rose arbor or something? When it wasn't a, um, whatever this is, I don't know. But um, you've got to put the shadow color first. Well, Makes could sense. Could be on a trellis. It, yeah, like on a trellis thingy. Ah, the That's big work. The, yeah, that was a trellis. And let's put the little purple chimney up here too. Okay. All right, so we've got a little bit of light purple there. So again, you can see this is a pretty simple painting. Just um, houses, uh, you know, if you're looking at the perspective, this is like one point perspective, you're looking straight at them. It's pretty easy to do, you know, if you've got. Um, uh, oh, Lou's got the right idea. It's all about John's waffles. Yes, Lou. Oh, John makes the best right. waffles. And quite frankly, John makes the best salmon too, right? I'm going to put a little, I'm going to lighten this up a little bit right here. Yeah, it's really hard to eat that out anymore. Yeah, it's hard for us to eat salmon anywhere because John's salmon is so good. He cooks it at just the right temperature, and um, and it really tastes marvelous. And, you know, which is half the battle there, right? <laughs> um, part of the more, more, more important part. All right, now something's up here, and I don't know what it is. Um, but whatever it was, it had a lot of snow on it. All right, so it's kind of dirty snow, though. It's kind of a brown, dirty, white snow. Is that such a thing? Sure. Just, just up in here, it's some sort of snowy stuff. And 
we're not talking about it, but it's got more brown in it, kind of. And um, then there was, I thought, I think we lost that other little bit of, oh no, there's this building here, and then there was something back here too that was here like that. Okay, so we just, we're just giving it a little bit more depth to here. Now, um, if you were going to design a painting, one of the things you don't want to do is wall people off. So ideally, you would have cut this regardless. See, what happens to artists is that they send a photograph or they're standing there in person painting it, and, well, this is how it was. I can't change it. Yeah, you can. And why you would change this is you would not have this wall going all the way across. You'd have some sort of gate here and allow you to get to the back. To get through to the other side. Yes. You would, you would want to be able to do that. All right? And... Um, Here's the top part of this roof here, too. We didn't put this one in. So um, in this case, we're just going to follow it like he, he did. But just keep in mind that that's probably poor painting design in that sense. You really want to be able to walk into your paintings. So Well, what's, you know, you got to think about his overall painting. What's really his subject? I think it's the tree. Yeah, it's the tree. The way he blocked off the fence. He didn't want you to go through the fence. Apparently not. He wanted you to be kind of stay here with He wanted you to stay, stay on this the... side of the fence and experience the tree. Yeah, so one of the things we can do while we're waiting for some things to dry is we can take the small brush and what I've noticed that he's got, well, we can't even do that. So let's... Um... Hey, we'd like to thank Arthur for the donation that came in through PayPal. Oh, hi, Arthur. We haven't uh, heard from you in a while. Of course, we've been gone for a couple months, which we've explained it, but lo <laughs> lovely to hear from you. Arthur... The best time, Arthur did. He, he painted me a tractor. He, and listen, he cut it's right your there beard. on the wall, right there. I he, can see it he, every day I sit here. Arthur cut your beard in the most magnificent way. It was well, just he, awesome. He's, he's my private barber, and you can tell I haven't seen one. Well, you can't come on the screen right now. Yeah, we, we if just, I was. you know, we, 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 were, we never went to anybody else, because after you did it, we just had no confidence. No confidence at all. That, that they could do a good job. So thank you. For, you know. and he says, congratulations, guys. We are sure We sure enjoyed the video. <gasps> Thank I'm you assuming very much. the wedding video, or it could be this video. You never know. All our videos are wonderful. Just ask us. Oh, you did, wait, wait, wait! You're going up top. You didn't tell yeah, me so just, no, there's where we're using water. Did Taking the burn over, no. which is clay, and we're using water, and we're 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 we're, we're shaking the hands like this. And we're barely putting any pressure. And climbing up the wall. And that is where a dagger brush is really good. Yeah, you, you just really can't beat a dagger brush. I'm not trying to do it exactly like he did. But you do want to have the trees be thinner. This takes a bit of arm control. And where people kind of fall down on this is that they run your arm straight. You've got to be able to brace your arm somehow to do this because you got to keep going. And um, yeah, there's no stopping. Looking good. Yeah. And uh, uh, some fluid paint would be good. Some burnt umber and a flow would be a good... Um, uh, paint to use for this but if you have to just uh, support your arm you need to do that now he's got some going this way and I'm just sort of shaking the brush as I move up okay and I get new paint each time I go trying not to cross over too much with my uh, of my chimneys he did a little bit of that. Let's see. Let's put a little bit of ultramarine blue with this. Make this a bit darker. <laughs> Sheila says, I don't have a dagger brush. I see a brush purchase in the near future. I suggest you contact uh, Becky. Well, the, yeah, she probably has some extra ones, right? Um, the brush guys, if you use if they, uh, if they, you use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word, and go to brushguys.com, that guy... Uh, carries dagger brushes, and you can get 5% off of, uh, just by ordering from him. And he has very good prices. We uh, don't have it. We don't 
we haven't updated our site with him. We we always intend to, and then something happens. Totally. And um, I'm waiting for Cinnamon to get her e-commerce store going because um, I want to be able to put some things in there. Okay. Okay, so there's some, you can see how we've got these trees in here. And then um, we've got some over here too. There's some ones that are kind of, there's one that's coming up here and that doesn't go up so tall. It just sort of stops in this area. Very light pressure on the brush. Um, kind of fork it a little bit. You're painting with the last little bit of the hairs. Now, every once in a while, just take your brush and um, reshape it. Just pull it and reshape it because uh, as you've been making pressure, it's going to, it's losing it and change. Notice the height. You, some, some trees are starting, um, some are higher, some are lower. And lower. Some are starting up here and some are starting down a little bit lower. So kind of be aware of where that's happening. And, uh, what is this? Now he, he got a lot, a little bit fancier than I did. He got a lot of little branches going kind of this way and that. Some coming back down that way. And, uh, and you know, if I was doing this video, we could do that. But that, that certainly gives you the sense of that, doesn't it? And um, ultramarine blue and burnt umber are very dark. Uh, colors and that's a good that's those are good ones you can use And uh, you can see that's that's pretty effective and um, Then you can come back here like that and you can make more little rock bumps in the snow if you lost some uh, With the brown if you just if you needed to have a few kind of look at his patterns They're not all the same, but you can put in a couple like that. And uh, Lily would like to know how is it that you don't have shoulder pain? <clears throat> um, well, for one, Lily, I've been painting in two months. <laughs> we start with that, right? And uh, when I did have shoulder pain, I have a, a frozen shoulder, I got a massage therapist and she worked it out. John's had some shoulder pain from lack of use and they say it's from lack of use not from use but from lack of use oh Gotcha, Lorraine And and I'm going to take here's some of uh, some fluid ink instant umber ink and I'm going to shake that up instant, and Do that again. It's called acrylic ink. Why did you say instant? Did I make up a new word? Well, no, instant is a word that exists, but why was it instant? Did it automatically appear? Because I instantly, instantly found show up? it. <laughs> you instantly found it? Yes. <laughs> hey, we'd like to thank G. Dave for the donation that came through the Super Chat. Congratulations, lovebirds. That's us, Thank baby. you. That's us. We be lovebirds. All right, so I'm going to take a different dagger brush. I have more than one. And I'm just going to not wet it. I'm just going to put it in the ink, right? And this is acrylic ink. See how it's tiny I can make these little brush strokes? Especially when you have a fluid paint. Yeah, with the fluid paint. This is, I mean, I'll tell you what, that is like one of the, the world's best kept secrets is fluid paint. Yeah. Because it... Um, it really does a good job. Because you when it's lighter, this this is a lighter color than what I've been using, and so that allows you to have some kind of more of a, more a little more depth in this. And you just want to say he just had a few little. What he did was he did, and this is interesting because when you're trying to learn how to make trees, he did a few little just short brush strokes like that. I guess there were some leaves or something here, but. There's just a few, just There's a little bit of that. Fall off. Yeah. You know, it was, if you watch our wedding video, even while we're sitting there, the leaves are falling off those trees, just like snow. It's quite charming, isn't it? Adds to the beauty. 
Now, I look at his, and I look here, and I've got a little bit, I got a little carried away with that. <laughs> I did. I got, this is a little bit busy here, and what we're, what we're missing here is the sky. So what I want to do now is come back. Is that, now, is that so what? Yeah, but I'll see what I can do if I can erase a little bit. Look, we're just going to erase some of that. See? You know the teddy bear lesson that we have coming up soon? Yes. And you use those fur brushes on it? Yes. We need to have a close-up of those fur brushes when you want to take a break again. Yeah, because I'll tell you what, somebody else wrote me today and asked about some brushes. And Yeah, if you want a good fur brush, these are... These are marvelous. We got, the, yeah. But they came from the UK. Yeah, they did. All right, so, all right. So I think, I, like I say, I'm going to just let that dry and just erase a few of these trees. I got a little, just talking to you, I got a little carried away, but that's all right. You would have a good time. I, I, I can see here where he went back and erased a few, too. I can kind of see what he did. He went back. Isn't that funny how you can kind of look at that and say, oh, you did, didn't you? So yeah, he this wanted. Yeah, very interesting. So we, we wanted to just focus on a couple main tree branches coming up like that and n n not get too busy. But anyway, there's our tree branches. And when that dries, I'll just erase a few more. Now I want to take the light paint and um, using this angle brush, I'll do that. And I want to come up here like this and add this. Let's see, we need a little bit of blue in it. A little, a little bit, bit of, of brown, a little bit of snow. This is the snow on top of our arbor. It's kind of it's coming on down like this. You know, you first start with your shadow color of the snow, and then you put your light color. This usually snow is not just one color; it's the shadow color and then the lighter color on top. So let's see what does he have going here like this. So we'll do that, and then we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll um, there's something pretty dark right in here. The blues, there's just a little bit of shadows in here in a couple places. Yeah. So there's, you know, if, if you did this larger, that would be okay too. You know, we, we're just doing it small so that you guys can get the, get the hang of this. But Get the gist of it. But, you know, we're just going to take the dagger brush and put a few little icicles coming down on this one. There you go, just just small stuff, but you know we're we're doing it. And then there's there's white on these branches too, and that's something that you may not uh, have seen. There's just like, but this one's kind of curving. There's a bit of white. But just not on all of them, but on a couple. There's some light. Just. I think he probably did it so they'd kind of show up a little bit. And let's Just see the way this. the wind caught it. Well, no, and then there's some, <clears throat> some kind of lighter going this way. So this is like, you know what this is? This is like putting together a puzzle. And uh, you're just... Well, speaking you know, of puzzles, we've got some puzzles. we got some puzzles we're going to be doing with these new paintings. And we're thinking of doing the jelly bean one just to torment you. Yeah, we've got some puzzles that are going to be coming out in about another uh, uh, week or two. That will be keep looking in our store because we keep changing the products and keep adding that. more stuff. We wanted so much. We wanted to have something to matter what kind of holiday celebration you were doing. Um, you would feel good about. Um, uh, uh, having something, you know, already art related to maybe give us a gift and um, either to yourself or a friend, something like that. So you can see how that could be helpful. And then re remember back in mean, this part of the snow was a little lighter. You guys remember that back here behind these? There like that. So we're kind of lightening up the snow right there. So we did. did there's a bit, what's fun about this is that notice how if you can get something with more yellow tones, it changes the light um, and the way your eyes are directed when you're, um, when you're, you know, doing a winter painting like that. And then let's take some lighter colors here. And I've got this on my iPad. So the lightest part is up here where the, 
light is going to be hitting it on here like that. It's coming down, whatever this is, I'm just not sure. But then as it gets down to this area, it's a little bit grayer, not quite so bright. It's not blue, but it's not quite so bright. And we're just not talking about it that oh, much. You look closely in the lower left corner, and you can see the, the, the queen's rings. Oh, yes? People have asked about the rings. Oh, yeah, there they are. These were, uh, John got these in uh, Colombia when we were traveling there. This is the, the Colombian emeralds, and then the, the actual wedding ring itself is well, neat. Well, it's gone it's, now uh, from my picture. Uh, no, I'm going to just show it. If the wedding ring itself has got the, the little, these little diamonds in it with the with the little pieces of emerald, just little yeah. diamond chips. You know, nothing too fancy. All about but I'll tell you what I liked about it was I couldn't have anything that, you know, caught on my artwork or, you know, wanted something very flat that, that didn't stand up and, you know. Caught the problem. Yeah. Hey, we'd like to thank Steffi for the donation that came in. Congratulations on your wedding. May your life together be filled with blessings and happiness. Oh, Steffi, thank you so much. Just having in you in our life, Steffi, makes us happy. Tell you what. Well, all you people out all there. All you guys. Oh, we'd like and to thank Sheila, who did a donation through the Super Chat. Love you, too. Thank you. T.W. Oh, this is an 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, this, I mean, it's kind of a, you know, it's a cute little painting for, you know, for this. It's small, but it, it, it serves, yes. Yeah. And, um... I want to like this a little brighter. The new brush that Ginger has been using is a synthetic brush, but she also has a hog hair, hog hair one that she has not used as of yet. I haven't had the right painting for that. But we believe it's going to work equally as well as the synthetic. Yeah. We're excited so you about. see, we keep at. Now, one of the things I want to make sure that I'm doing is, um, is bringing some snow off the canvas. And <laughs> there's a, you know, see how the paint had a tendency to dry a little darker? So I want to have this area in here a little bit lighter now. So what you have to do is manage your lights and darks. That's what I would tell you to do. Manage your lights and darks in this. <coughs> it's not just white snow. It's not just purple snow. And it's not yellow snow. Well, there's a little bit of that, too. But like I say, there's probably some dogs in the back fence. Who knows? I but anyway. So. You want to, again, managing the light on something like this makes a big difference. Well, it's also where do you want your viewer's eye to go? No. Now. That's looking pretty good, Queenie. Yeah, I mean, it, you, 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 it's sort of surprising, isn't it, with the, what that, 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 um, I want that tree to stand out, so I'm just going to do something light next to it. Does that make sense? Sure. See, see if I want this. The, the the post, the trunk didn't show, but if I lighten the wall a bit, just a bit, make it stand it out. It Push just, it away. It just, you know, you can go back and um, keep the old adage: wherever there's a light, there's a dark. That's All right, there's, there's just a. There almost needs to be some reddish colors in here too, but I'm not. They're they're mostly dark, but there's some. There you go. And again, I'm not, I think this was, it's just not clear to me that what this was, but there were some um, vines, something up here that maybe you could see some some sort of sticks that came this way. I'll just suggest them. Again, not real sure, but uh, uh, here we go. Let's just curve that like that. There you go. Like that. There we go. Okay, all right. So let's let that dry for a minute. Let me show you the rest of the auction page. If you haven't had a chance to see these, these are so cool, particularly if you missed it yesterday. We, we put the... Now we put the lesson up on the website. They're going to be in, sectioned into the two paintings per section. Yeah, so it'll be much easier be to find. you to find the one instead of going through eight hours of video. So we had that. Let's see. Let me find you some of the horizontals. Our horizontals now. I showed you the well, yeah, I wish you would, seeing how you have your canvas up there horizontal. Your... Yeah, look, this was one of my favorites. I, uh, this is the donkey from Donkey Hill, and if you didn't hear my Donkey Hill story, that's... 
you'd feel sorry for me if you heard it. Luann felt sorry for me. She she said she wouldn't have gone down that she'd still be up there, you know, waiting for <laughs> waiting for an airplane, a helicopter to get her to the ship, right? So that but you see how sweet these little donkeys were. And I love this painting because of all the colors and the donkey that you know, just um, it's not oh, just a photograph. I'll tell you what, all, all every, every one of the auction pictures was part of our vacation, and there's stories that go with them. Yep. So that's a good, it's a good marathon thing to still watch, and uh, so I, I think you might like that. And then um, this was one. You know, a lot of times you see boats, particularly if you're on a cruise, you can see, you get into port, you're gonna, everybody's got a boat apparently, and it's in port, and there's a tendency, a tendency to take photos of them because there's so many, but we really like this boat. I like the fo John's photograph because the reflection's in the water. And so this has got, it's got some seabirds and everything. And I, we know some of the pictures don't show the red slash in the photograph, but they will be. They'll all be varnished and two coats of varnish with the red slash and a certificate of authenticity uh, when that's we send real. it to you. That, that, that's the real deal here, you guys. And um, now another, one of the, one of my favorites is this one. It's uh, just a close-up of some, maybe a beach that we were on. And if you zoom in on the rocks, uh, how, see how these are painted, all these colors in this rocks? No. You see that, John? I back up a little bit. They can't over, no. so like there, like in that. So you see that? All these little brush strokes. Mm -hmm. And you can see the sand. If you zoom in on my sand. Well, you have to see how she did that sand. Uh, you look it at freaked that, look. me out. Being a sock folder, she did this. I go, do you know what you're you doing? See Shut the up. sand? I got it covered. And it's just, it's just, um, uh, you know, just there's just some neat, there's something neat about this. But when you back out, it's a very fun impressionistic painting. And yeah, if you like the painting. ocean. This is, I guess, that's one of my personal favorites. Um, another thing that happens, we, we spent, we rarely fly to Florida when we take a cruise. We usually drive. It takes us a couple days. And this was a scene out uh, from the car, and um, I thought it was a great lesson in perspective. And uh, and and also a sunset, and kind of so we thought it was kind of neat, so that you know how to tap maybe different ways to do a sky, and uh, and it's certainly part of Americana when you think about or really anywhere where everybody travels on roads and drives. And so we, I thought this was a it was a good tutorial for that. And um, again, this I think is John's favorite was this yeah. was in um, uh, that was in Olympia. No, I was. That, are you sure that was Olympia? I thought it was in the. Um, uh, no. With the volcano place. <laughs> okay, the name's like three of them. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what were the ruins? <laughs> the ruins with the volcano. No, this was Olympia. All right, this one. Well, John. No, the, you're right. It was the first place we went to. The first ruins. The first ruins. There were some ruins. In Greece. That's, in Greece. Yeah. Is where they were doing all the trading and everything. The guy set up a real business there. Yeah. So I mean, again, that's that's one. This was a, a, on I think the M M Island, but wasn't Malta. Yeah. And uh, so I mean, there were twelve. We did twelve paintings since in seven. Eight seven, hours. In eight hours, and uh, that was our marathon. And and, and we think that you're going to enjoy them. And no, we I, know you're going to enjoy. Well, them. I know that you're going to enjoy, it, and I think you're going to. And I hope that. Um, isn't that neat? Just even with that thing, that's just such a nice. And it's a great. Those are great tutorials on how to paint your your own photos, you know, from your stuff. Well, that's what the whole marathon was all about. Now, before you go on, let me. I can bring up the Donkey Hill because I still have them loaded up from. Here we go. I have the side by side. I'm going to see why they're side by side here in a second. John's going to show you some photographs. Just... All right. <clears throat> The one on the right shows you the path that you had to walk down, and the green is the um, gondola. The gondola that you could take up. We took the gondola up. It could take 18 people at a time. You had three baskets of six. Do you see the red line? That's what we walked down. That's what we walked down. And it just took and it forever. forever. <laughs> it was never and then ended. we ended up in those buildings and going through steps in those buildings. By the time we got to those steps, I didn't think I could walk anymore. <laughs> Man. And that was just um, 875 steps or some crazy thing like that yeah. to get back down. So, so that's, that's Donkey Hill. So when you hear the story about Donkey Hill, this envision this. All right, Queen. Yeah, all right. So Bring your got, painting back. 
yeah, put the painting back. Well, before I do that, one last thing. We we for, we showed you our newest calendar, because we only have two this year, but we showed you our newest calendar uh, yesterday, Saturday, which was the our animal calendar. Oh, here, can we back And it's out? much it's much larger than the other one. Here's the and it's uh, here's the size of the normal calendar. As you can see, it's larger. It is only available in the United States, North America, North US America, or Canada. Canada. It's Canada. Do not but, order if you're international. It, 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 we can't. The other ones are, but but this one is not. And you see, there's a, there's some of our best animal paintings. Oh, Rufus. That's Rufus. Um, My buddy Rufus. Um, this is our our uh, elk from uh, what, the famous English oh, artist. The stag was his. his the head stag, head. Uh, the, the, uh, guardian of the glen, or something like that. The guardian. Yep. And man. and so when you're when you're looking at this, this was one of my favorites, the, the bear fishing, Alaska bear fishing. That's and, Bernie. And that's Bernie the bear. So there's a great calendar, but again, just um, and uh, if the if you zoom in on here, this these little funny things will take you Those right. Are QR codes. Well, these QR codes, but okay, we'll take these you. Little funny. One things. will take you right to the YouTube, and the other will take you to our website. Yeah. How cool is that? So and again, these are all tutorials um, that have been released. That have been released. Now, the, the the new, the smaller calendar has tutorials you haven't seen yet. That being one of this is a, this was a very large painting and originally done in the 1800s. Really cool, and I think you're going to love that. There's some wonderful uh, uh, pictures in here. I'll bring up the teddy bear one while you're taking a pause in the action. Yeah, here's our here's our teddy bear, and if you're wanting to know about the brushes, ahead, these fur brushes. brushes here's my jar of brushes, and this is like, a jar of fur, fur, fur brushes. Fur brushes, and I just keep them all in a jar because they all start looking alike. And this is um, a Terry Harrison brush, and it really is a wonderful. It's very stiff, uh, makes a great fur brush. And fur and grass are sort of similar, but here's a few. I bought all of his. All and his fur um, brushes. all his fur brushes and grass brushes. And his brushes. name was what? Terry what? Uh, Terry Harrison. Terry Harrison, out of the UK. Out of the UK. I really liked his. And then if you, you can get the Silver Brush Company makes one that's a grass brush, and that's a, a, a half inch grass brush, which is also very nice uh, animal fur brush. And then there's another company, Cinnamon. Know. Cinnamon recommended these by Princeton. Princeton makes a couple of fur brushes that are small, and I've used all of these too. They're really nice. Um, so just, um, again, here's another Terry Harrison brush. So uh, I just have a card of a collection of those. And the other trick you can do is if you want a fur brush, and you know, you've already got a, um, you've already got a, a fan brush, uh, just make it smaller. Clip it with some tiny nail scissors and clip it and make it smaller. Make your own fur brush. You could do that too. Not quite uh, the same. You know, Sorry. If you, you know, I've, I've done that too. So, like you take a, take a fan brush the like this. The teddy bear this. is not on the animal calendar. He's on the baby calendar. Yeah. Yeah, teddy bear's on the baby calendar. And you see all the fur on him. See that, that was yeah, all done. Now, here, here brushes. would be a... I, I would never cut an art sharper brush, but here's a, <laughs> here's a, you would cut about that much off, or you wanted a fur brush out of a fan brush, you'd cut off about that much, and then you'd take some nail clippers, and just the way you feather bangs, you'd come in there and go clip, clip, clip. So that's how you would do that if you wanted to improvise a fur brush. They didn't have, whoops, hope that didn't get any paint on that. It did too. <gasps> that was bad. We got paint on this, John, already. <gasps> Look at that. I got paint on the calendar. Well, of course, it becomes ours. It's now our calendar. So sorry. How did I do that? Well, I put it on wet paint. How did you do that, Ginger? How do you think you did that? What was your first clue? I don't know. I'm talking to myself now because I'm going to be... you've been hanging around me too much. All right. Let's see how waterproof it is. Well, isn't that fun? It took the paint off. Did it? Yeah, didn't, and the print's still there. That's impressive, right? See, took the paint off, print's still there. Oh, look at that. That's an artist calendar for sure, yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a ginger calendar, if nothing else. All right, so we're just going to do a fi little, few little finalizing things here. Final um, touches. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody that joined us this evening. If you have not subscribed, please take a second and press that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way, anytime we put something up, you'll know about it. We're yeah, uh, scheduled on Mondays, 5.30 Central, 
Occasionally we do something strange and off the wall like an eight-hour marathon. But not often. No. And again, we're uh, the the last our last uh, we'll have we'll have shows all year, but our our, our premiere will be um, the last premiere th will be uh, next week, and we're, it's going to be no. The, the last live will be next week, and then we'll be doing premieres for the rest right. of the year. That's what we're doing. I got a little. That's confused. what you were saying. That's what I was saying. The last live, and then my daughter Cinnamon, who's staying with me until she uh, moves to um, Ireland, and her the kids. Um, she's, uh, she is going to be, um, on the, we're not going to paint. We're just going to answer questions. So don't forget to send in your questions. We Q and A to answer if questions. If you have and, questions, please send them in before the show and just help us be organized. Okay. Use the contact us form on any of the many sites, but acrylic painting with ginger cook dot com would be the one to choose now we have one more thing we do want to mention is some of you who are doing a personal art coaching and or on the contact us form if you're trying to get in to look at your past history right now there's a problem with the software and the vendor is working on it, the programmers they don't have a solution yet we kind of stumped them it's what i often do but we have a workaround. If you need something in the past, we can help you get there. Yeah, nothing is lost. Nothing is lost. It's all there. It's just we have ways to get to it that but you could, don't but, at the moment. But keep sending in your personal, your packs. Because yeah, your you packs will still come in. Every All the communication still works. It's just you can't get to your past history. We can get to it, but you can't. All right. So you see how I kind of tricks. see how I kind of open that up a little bit more. It looks a lot better. And uh, just uh, I got a little bit carried away with the trees, but um, and I'll put a few little bit of whites here, a little bit of snow here, like that. Just these and these dagger brushes are just awesome for that because you can just do so much detail, which is really nice. And of course, he had he had a bunch of little bushes and. He had some weird things, but I, I don't, don't, we don't need to get into all of that, but we can have a few, just a few little, um, maybe a few little grasses sticking up. And then when you see it, maybe when, when you like, say, watch how I do it and then look at his, uh, look at his original too, just to take my word for it and see if there's something you see that you might want to do that's, um, a little different. That, that's a little different. You know, you can, you might, we all see some, some th things differently. Have you noticed that? We just that's just kind of the way it is. And you may see something that you want to do that um that I didn't see on the small one. But uh, we we that's that's the fun of being an artist is that we all have maybe a little different vision. So I, I would say that that's I been pretty happy with how that came out. Um if it when it dries, if I see something else, I may come back and do a lighter dark, but I don't think so for now. I mean, he had sort of some piles of old wooden stuff. If this were bigger, I might do that. But I think that for what we're all trying to do here, which is just uh, show you how to take how to take color and and add it to snow, really is the idea behind this. And uh, there you go. So there's our. It looks cold to me. Does it look cold and and get? It look, does. Looks very looks cold. Wintery. Looks very cold, and and um, we'll just come up a little bit higher on the wall here, so it's not quite so flat. There we go. This was uh, winter in Paris. Uh, by you know, originally by Gauguin. I hope we you saw how you might accomplish this and take your time with this, have fun in uh, your comments. I I know you guys like the old dead guys, and want to know if you found this to be helpful. Um, again, here was our reference photo. Somebody made a comment in on the um, marathon painting, and she said, I'm confused. I don't see the reference photos. We showed you the reference photo in everything we did as we painted it. We traced them on and everything. There were reference photos. <laughs> and, of course, if you're an orange member and above, you can print out the reference photos to when you do your own paintings of those, okay? So I, I think um, we got – it kind of continues on, doesn't it? Look at this. Yeah. 
Don't we think we got the oh, wall I think you going? Did, you did a far better job than he had. And of course, this is on not good. This is a little darker, and the on my iPad well, yeah, showed the sky little, lighter. Yeah, this was just a quickie little, quickie little paint out. You know, um, we are having some people are having problems getting into the auction site because of the old system or whatever. Let us know. We can delete your account, and then you can just create a new one. You can just start all over, start from the get go. And a lot of times, that's the fastest way to get you in there. If you go too many times, you will be blocked out, and then you'll have to contact us and let us know that you've been locked out. Because the auction site gets hit a lot when we go live from inferior people. So again, if you're having a problem with the auction site, use the contact us and say, hey, delete my account, let me start over. Don't use the Facebook. and, and Do not use Facebook to try to communicate. Because we will remove your staff. comment. <laughs> Because it just makes people think there's something wrong with the site, and it's not. It's just that sometimes um, things happen. It, it always let us know. We're here to help you. And um, uh, we want to make sure you have the best experience ever. You know. Okay, Nancy, I see that you're, you want us to delete you. We have looked for you, and we can't find you with that name. If you don't put your name in, we can't find you. So use the contact us. Let us know the email you have in there, and we will find you, and we will make you disappear. Okay. Liz, two right there. It's got you covered. All right. There's my red slash through the name. Oh, that means it's done. It's done. Rush you guys. Down. Trella, what do you think? Yeah, hey. Great, great winter Monday. Oldie, oldie G, our old dead guys. The shorts for old dead guys. Done in the, Paris uh, by Gauguin. Originally by Gauguin. So I hope you had fun with this. We've got a lot of, actually, paintings uh, we've done with Gauguin. We had a self-portrait earlier on on YouTube. Oh, that was a fun one. With Gauguin, which was, was his later works. And... We've got his one of his farms out of Guernsey or something is one that um, we have on our uh, Academy website. If you like this style of artwork, uh, we've got several tutorials like this. So I hope you have fun with this. And we'll see you next Monday with Cinnamon the Art Sherpa. And we'll be answering your questions. And I can't wait to see you all there and tell your friends. And please send in your questions early if you can. If you would, be so kind. And seeing how it's auction time, here's something for you to consider. Bye, everyone. Bye. Say everything? Yep. Thank you did. Was that okay? I think so. 20 second spot only takes 30 minutes. Wait here. <sighs> One of the features that is offered on our website for and let's try again. <laughs> 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 Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay. Then, 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 then I, I said, there's a lot Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Or yeah. <laughs> try to get that silly robot done. One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> robotic what? Is the robot the option of let me try? It. It's a ro <laughs> what they call it an automatic bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic bidder. Um, to bid, register to bid, 
Okay, let me start again. All right. I don't know how so I can. <laughs> God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie. Be there. With a first. Oh, we could never afford this. We couldn't afford this. All right, the the budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but <laughs> buy a quarter. Don't worry about We're having the hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had hard hugs before. <laughs> okay.